Hi right, guys, so we are working back on the VFC um, M4 project. This is the Knight's Armament SR16 um, receiver set I got. And I've fitted all new VFC internal parts in here. Uh, VFC at a barrel. Um, I've got a small inner barrel at the moment because I'm still waiting for my long one to repair. Um, stock um, bolt with M-Pass nozzle. Um, I've changed the buffer tube to a real steel spec. Um, obviously changed the buffer as I showed you in the last video and obviously reused the recoil spring as well. Now, I said I wanted to turn this into a bit of a build. So um, I want to do something a little bit different with it. So, you know, not just slap all the original stuff on it. I want to make quite a, quite a short little rifle. So I've been keeping an eye out for some rails I can use. And I came across this one, which I really, really liked. Um, plus as well, um, this receiver set is obviously a Knight's, Knight's Armament. So I came across this lovely thing. And this is a Knight's Armament um, rail. Um, apparently it's a RAS2 URX. Um, I don't know anything about this other than the fact that I saw it and I thought, damn, that looks cool. So uh, I believe it's off an AEG, which obviously poses a few issues because generally AEG stuff is off spec and doesn't fit gas blowbacks. How it fits is a bit unusual. It came with this nut in the end of it, which I assume goes around the existing outer barrel and um, tightens down. But this is aluminium, so this is no good for what we need. This is internally threaded, um, but I've no idea what size it is, and there is no way I'm going to find a barrel nut that's probably going to fit this anyway, so that's going to fit on a gas blowback. So I need to do some my own work on this to try and make this fit. So this bottom piece comes off, which is nice. So what I've been going back and forth about doing is trying to attach this to here somehow. So if I slide this on here, now it slides beautifully over that barrel nut. Beautifully, holds in lovely. There is a tiny little bit of wobble, the smallest amount, but it's by no means tight on there. You know, it will move around. So there's a couple of things I can do. Um, obviously I want this to sit nice and flush. Now this barrel nut I have here is the only one I could find that I had that would fit it. And all the other places I've seen only had this one in stock anyway, so I'll just use this one. Uh, this is a steel, I think it's a Z parts um, barrel nut for the 416. Now the way the 416 rail fits, obviously it normally has an extra sort of part in the top here which locks in place. And then you have a hole in the front rail and a bolt goes through which pins it in here and pins it against the rifle. So what I think I'm going to be doing here is in the end of the rail here, there's a little cutout here. And in the top of the receiver where the gas tube on the real rifle would go and probably where the mock gas tube on this one would go, there's a hole. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make a part which presses into this and will slot into that to hold that straight. So that'll mean that will hold that straight like that. It won't stop it sliding out, but it will hold it in place. So then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to make a 416 style um, mount, which will just rest on this, which will level up a bolt which will go through this, which will then lock it in place against the receiver. Or that's the plan. The next time you see this, this could be cut to a million pieces and be an absolute piece of junk. So, but I don't want to ruin it because I love the look of it. It's exactly what I was looking for. So I really want to make this work, but who knows? Um, making AEG stuff fit gas blowbacks is um, challenging. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. So, I'm going to do a few bits and pieces to it. I'm not going to be filming the stuff I'm making for it because, you know, it's just making bits of metal. I'm probably going to make about five different variations of the bit that fits in this before I get one that fits correctly. Um, 
and then I'll obviously drill this out. I'll make the two parts that will sort of fit either side and um, I'll show you what I've come up with. And fingers crossed the next time you see this, it'll be able to fit onto the rifle. Fingers crossed. Alrighty guys, so I've started to figure this out a little bit now. Um, so I tried a few things, but it just wasn't really working out. I tried a piece that was the correct size for in there and then made it the correct size to fit into there, but it just wasn't really working how I wanted it to. So what I've done instead is I made this piece here, which is a flat piece of steel, drilled out and tapped to take a countersink hex head bolt, like so. Then what I've done here with this part, let me zoom in a bit so you can see what I've done. Um, I've folded the edges in slightly and just sort of filed the edges to make it a bit, uh, this is obviously unfinished at the moment, I'll finish it off a bit. Um, but the, what I've done here is make that the right profile to fit inside here. So, I'll show you how it fits in and how the rail's looking. And I must admit, so far, I'm really pleased. So, this piece slots into there pretty much perfectly. There's no wobble on that at all. Uh, your hex head countersink goes in there and winds into and tightens down into that piece of metal. So this is a piece of steel, so it's nice and strong. And then this slides onto here as before. And then hopefully you can see that is the correct profile to fit into there. And that just slots in there, all the way in. And the rail is on there. And that has a tiny bit of wobble. But again, when I put that bolt through the bottom there, that will sort that out. To be fair, I think I probably could just bore into the bottom of this, tap a hole into the um, into the barrel nut, and then tighten it in, and I think that would be fine. I haven't decided which way I'm going to go yet. I might still use the 4 6 star method with the bolt going through here, but it might be quite tricky to get that right, so I might actually go for the other method, because that actually is holding really nicely now. Uh, the only other issue I do have with this rail is that when I fit it, well, sorry, when I fit the lower part, it doesn't go all the way back because the barrel nut is in the way. So I'm going to have to shorten the barrel nut slightly, which is not a big deal because this is designed for the 416 for a big chunky rail, which I'm not fitting, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah, at the moment, I'm really pleased with how that's gone in. So my next stage with this is going to be shortening that barrel nut getting this all the way in so I can see what we've got and if we've got any clearance issues. Um, fingers crossed we don't. One, well, we're quite happy with whereabouts I've got it. I'm then going to figure out my next move as to whether or not I just go for a bolt in the bottom here, sorry, probably through this B15 part and um, tap into the barrel nut. The only downside is this piece is hollow, so I'm not going to be able to wind down with any kind of force, so I might have to put a steel insert inside that. But so far, I know this doesn't look very pretty at the moment. However, it will obviously get painted. Um, I'll matte black that so you won't even notice it. And I'll countersink it a little bit further so we'll still be able to use that um, Picatinny point. So that's the plan anyway. So yeah, so far, really pleased with that. And that fits in there really nice. It's fairly tight. And again, that just slots straight in perfectly and holds it nice and straight. There's a tiny little bit of wobble here, but that's really wobbling on the barrel nut. So yeah, really pleased with how far we've come with that tonight. Um, didn't take too long, probably about an hour of just fiddling around. So I tried a few things, but this was the best method I could come up with. And at the moment, I'm really pleased with what we've done with that so far. So that's a big win, so I'm happy with that. So next time you see this thing, guys, I'm gonna have cut this barrel nut down but again, I'm gonna get this done. It's just a gradual thing. Um, at the moment, it has this awful um, fake stock on it at the moment, so I do need to get a different stock for it. Um, I've got a couple of ideas. I've got a 
VFC QRS stock, which I absolutely love. I know it doesn't really replicate anything, but I think it just looks so cool without the extra pieces on the side for the batteries that you have for the uh, AEGs. I just think it's such a cool thing. So I'd quite like to try this out and see how this looks. Um, but I suspect I'm going to want to go for something a bit shorter to keep the overall profile really short. The barrel is a little bit long for my liking with this rail. Um, flash hider wise, I was planning on using this, which is actually from a WE, um, I think from memory, a PDW. No, it won't be a PDW. Something like that anyway. Um, so that on there, but you can see that's just a bit too long for how this is going to look now. So I do want to shorten the outer barrel down slightly. I might just look for a shorter one, but um, shortening it down isn't that big a deal. I do have a die, which is uh, 14 millimeter counterclockwise. So my dad's got a lathe. I can just shorten this down. And then the ideal would be to have it sort of that length with the flash hider on the end there. Um, or alternatively, I'll get a suppressor that will slide over uh, and conceal the rest of this outer barrel. Obviously, at some point, I'm going to fit the new inner barrel, which is going to go to a certain length. I've ordered one which will basically come to pretty much where the end of this rail is, so that would be ideal. But, um, yeah, it hasn't arrived yet. I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to wait for that to arrive, and then I can do something with it. But I'm going to leave that for now, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this so far in the comments. Um, it's probably going to go over a couple of videos, but I want to get this one sorted in this video, so you'll see this again shortly.